I think there's a power that's been laying dormant in the Straw Hats. And no, I'm not talking about Chopper. I know Chopper is a powerhouse in his own right, but this time, this time I'm not talking about Luffy. Or maybe dead Jinbei. Busty Nami. I'm not talking about any of them. Today, what I'm talking about is the young prince, the true king of Jerma, Sanji. In today's video, we're going to discuss how Sanji can surpass Luffy. I think Zoro is a foregone conclusion. The raid suit made sure of that. But now I'm going to show you guys and explain to you guys how Sanji can and might already have surpassed Luffy. Now guys, I know what you may be thinking. There's no way, but I think there is circumstantial evidence in the story of specific things Sanji has done, but still remains a monster. We'll begin. We're not going to waste time today. We're just going to get right into it. But guys, even within this like amazing video, I want you guys to understand coronavirus is still going around. So make sure you wash your hands before this video because it might make you feel a little dirty because these are things you did not know before. All right. I guarantee you, you cannot catch this pandemic from this video, but please wash your hands before this video. Now go do it and come right back. I assume you're done now. So guys, here we go. Sanji, for the most part, has been a chef for most of his life. He's a very kind boy. He's a very kind man. Rage, you acknowledge that. Even Zeth and all his siblings. Yes, he took a pounding when he was younger from his siblings. And I don't mean it in that way, but he definitely took a pounding. And in actuality, that made him stronger. That made him realize that strength wasn't everything. And, you know, I said this before, but I would really like if Oda explored the relationship between Zoro and Sanji and Zoro's, like, lust for strength. I mean, he even summoned a demon because he wanted to become stronger. I would like for Oda to establish or explore that relationship because I think that's something beautiful within Zoro and Sanji that's not being explored. Put a conversation for another day. Sanji, knowing how strength is, I think he runs away from it, literally and figuratively. Back in the day, Sanji was supposed to be changed. He was supposed to be mutated like his brothers, but the operation didn't work on him because his mother took pills. That's why his hair is blonde like his father. Fast forward, Sanji escapes from Jerma, and then he ends up meeting Zeph at some point. We know the whole backstory with Sanji and Zeph, but then we get to Sanji meeting Luffy. Luffy knew from the get-go that Sanji was a strong boy. He knew that that was the person that he had to recruit. Even though Paddy had shown some amazing feats, Luffy pointed out Sanji and wanted him to join his crew. Now, something I want you guys to understand is that Sanji back then, even without any hint of training, became as strong as Red Leg Zeph, dormantly, without training. So Sanji pre-times Kiparatier Red Leg Zeph level. And that's with him not training at all, not using his hands. Now guys, pay attention. As we move forward towards Arlong Park, Oda confirmed that Sanji was the one who took out the right hand man of Arlong. This is actually a fact. Oda said the right hand man of Arlong is actually Kurubi. And Sanji took out Kurubi with little to no effort. He was even holding his own against Kurubi underwater. So that just shows the level of strength that Sanji has. And if Sanji's doing that against someone underwater, I believe Sanji in his base form, no Diablo Jambe, is as strong as as a fishman and I have facts to back that up. Now next, we're not even going to mention the dismantling of Jabber because he did that low diffed and Jabber was the second or third strongest in CP9. I'm thinking second. Now we're going to skip forward a bit and we're going to go to Punk Hazard and Dressrosa. Now before that, I also want to acknowledge that Sanji has an uncanny ability to deal with a lot of water pressure. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Moving forward to Punk Hazard, a lot of people give Sanji shit for this, all right? They say Sanji was weak, Sanji didn't do what he had to do, but Sanji was facing someone of Virgo's caliber. And I think Virgo is very underrated. Maybe right now, if Virgo came back into the story, he would be a top 15 character in One Piece. And Sanji fighting him in his base form after being hurt because Nami was in his body, that hurt a little bit. He got hurt a little bit. But th that's the thing, the fight didn't end, all right? The fight didn't end, and I think if the fight would have continued, Sanji would have showed his true power. Now, something I left out here that people aren't going to want to acknowledge, people might get a bit dirty about this, is the fact that Sanji versus Wanze. Yeah, yeah, you thought I wasn't going to use that. Sanji versus Wanze. Sanji when he fought Wanze. Sanji showed an ability. I think the level of swordsmanship that probably eclipses what we've seen from the best swordsman in the world. Sanji casually dismantled the noodles of Wanze like they were nothing. I think Sanji's level of culinary skill with the blade is unmatched in the One Piece verse. So if Sanji translated that blade skill to actual swordsmanship, I think Sanji would automatically be crowned a top five swordsman in the One Piece world without ever fighting. I think if Mihawk happened upon Sanji with knives, Mihawk would understand the level of skill that Sanji had 
mad and would not even try to use a seppuku knife like he did versus Zoro. Mihawk would automatically go to Yoru because Mihawk would know what's up with Sanji, the greatest swordsman on the Straw Hats right now. I Listen, this is not something I'm making up. Zoro is currently Pirate Hunter Zoro, all right? And I think Zoro's skill with the blade is very good. Excellent actually but Sanji's skill with the blade he's been using a blade ever since he was a kid and I think if Sanji and if Sanji actually used kicks and swords he would transcend to a level that we haven't seen before in one piece a slight exaggeration he would exceed to a level that we've seen from commanders easily now again let's go to Dressrosa Sanji when he was with Violet he heard his friends Sanji literally teleported from where Violet was to where Doflamingo was that is a canon fact from the manga, all right? If I'm spoiling you, I'm sorry, but this is what's to come. Sanji teleported from where Violet was to where Doflamingo was. And another fact, canon from the manga, no speculative evidence here. Sanji and Whitebeard are the only people Doflamingo has ever called strong. The only two. Are you guys noticing a pattern here? I didn't want to point it out, but are you guys noticing a pattern? When Sanji pulled up on Doflamingo, he said a strong one has appeared with a little sweat bubble on his cheek. He also said, finally, a strong one. And he had already been fighting Law and the rest of the Straw Hats. Does this confirm Sanji over Law? I mean, things to think about here. But then people are going to say, okay, why does Sanji take L's? Why didn't he beat page one? One thing that's evident about Sanji, he's a very kind person. He doesn't train, but he's just naturally strong. But I think Sanji understands Understanding the dreams of Luffy and Zoro, where their dreams are more so predicated on strength. Of course, Sanji wants to find find the all blue. Doesn't mean he's not going to be strong, but their two dreams, you have to be strong to find those. But Sanji's all blue dream, his strength goes into supporting his crew. So strength is also necessary, but not the main proponent of what the dream entails. If Sanji showed his true strength, that would cause a problem in the Straw Hats. The hierarchy would be messed up. Remember when Zoro said to Luffy, if he couldn't at least do that, then we'd have to find another captain. Sanji also looked down on it like if he had it already, saying, well, I guess he does have the talent. Is this Sanji confirming that he has it as well? Guys, it's mind-blowing when you look a little deeper. I think Zoro understands the dormant power lying in the straw hats and he knows it's Sanji that's why he gives him so much shit for being so kind to women because he knows his potential I compare Sanji to Escanor in seven deadly sins have you guys seen seven deadly sins where Escanor can match or surpass the power that Meliodas had I've only seen two seasons of this but that's what I can surmise that Escanor can match Meliodas I think Sanji and they both have blonde here I, I, I guess blonde to brown brunette I, I guess but they both have here all right. So I think Sanji could be the Escanor of the crew. Another example of this is when Sanji went to Blitz Oven. Sanji literally disappeared, took Chiffon without Oven noticing. No one noticed. But when Luffy was around, Sanji got shot by regular bullets. He is doing this on purpose, guys. Use your common sense. This is something that Sanji's doing because he understands that he cannot cause a rift in the Straw Hats. That's why he tried to leave. After Sanji left Whole Cake Island, when Luffy told him, now you're the curly eyebrowed pirates, Sanji realized that he could lead his own crew. Sanji didn't leave the Straw Hats because of Zeph. Sanji left because he knew it was time for him to branch off and he could lead the Big Mom pirates. He could be Big Mom's new husband. But the Straw Hats and the bonds he's created, it brought him back to him. We saw what Sanji did on the table with the vent smoke that wasn't a coincidence and contrary to belief the first person on the straw hats to show future sight was not monkey d luffy sanji had future sight going into the post time skip we saw it versus katakuri katakuri thought it was sweet <laughs> Katakuri thought he could just off-screen Sanji with a jelly bean. Sanji said no. Even with the priest there and the strongest commander going at him, Sanji dodged it casually. Casually. But guys, I, I don't want to break your hearts any more than I already have because understand that this guy, Vince Smoke D. Sanji, is a lurking legend. I'm not quite sure if he's the person Oda was talking about as yet, but I think there's some credence to it. But guys, give me your thoughts. If Sanji showed all he could do, his knives, his Congress hockey, his Diablo Jambe, his raid suit, his future sight, I think that clearly surpasses Luffy 
on the crew. But give me your thoughts. How do you feel about it? Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Share this video everywhere so people can know the truth about God Sanji. Going back and rereading. Guys, reread. Then you can understand what Sanji brings to the table. Because I think he's severely underrated. And Oda is preparing him. Oda is saving him for something. But guys, give me your thoughts. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. Follow me on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash BragoDAce. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for your suggesting and dropping the facts about Sanji because I wouldn't have done this without you guys. But guys, thank you so much. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing great. I hope no one took that video too seriously. We're just having fun. Uh, it's April Fool's. And I wasn't going to make the video, but then I thought about just, you know, what's going on and just, you know, taking my mind off of everything that's happening and trying to just be positive. So, you know, um, don't take it too seriously. It doesn't matter what I mean and what I don't mean in the video. It's all in good fun. So thank you guys for supporting me. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and of course, stay safe in this time. Of course, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Probably not quite like this, but um, leave your thoughts below as usual. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.